Good morning, good morning. It's like a music video, isn't it? Sorry, <laughs> it's too early for that. Okay, good morning, dear friends of Communion Fire. Uh, Bob Bunnell here, and we're going to have communion in just a minute. So if you want to grab a little piece of bread and um, a little sip of wine, uh, we will come to uh, bring our uh, bread and wine to our table and then offer it to the Lord to make it his table. Amen. Praise God. So uh, this morning, uh, I want to share just a little bit with you. Um, how do we do that? Oh, isn't that great? He's got a halo this morning. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> anyway, uh, just a few books that have been important in my life. Seeing Christ in the Old Testament, seeing Christ in the New Testament, it only took me about a year and a half to read the entire three volumes, but uh, Stephen Kong does a beautiful job of giving you a way of looking at the scriptures. He says basically that if you're studying the Bible and for any reason are studying it for any other reason than to see Jesus, you're studying and reading for the wrong reason because the scriptures are there to reveal Jesus. In fact, when Jesus was on the Emmaus Road, he opened up the scriptures to them in his resurrection. The first couple he met with was uh, Mary and Cleopas and um, his aunt and uncle. They didn't recognize him because he was in his resurrected body. And um, uh, they didn't recognize him when he spoke to, about himself in the Old Testament law and prophets. And uh, they didn't recognize him because of his resurrected body. Good morning, Jay. Thank you. Blessings to you, my friend. Uh, God bless you for getting up with us. I did see that uh, you'd prefer 1230. I understand that. <laughs> uh, we'll see what we can do, brother. Uh, anyway, uh, so we're looking at uh, Stephen Kong's uh, three volume set on seeing Christ in the New Testament. Stephen was an associate of Watchman Nee in China. I think he's about 104 now and doing just fine. Thank you. Um, you know, Joseph Prince says, uh, we, we, the Lord gives us 120, so maybe maybe Stephen will actually arrive. <laughs> Praise God. But uh, anyway, wonderful, wonderful, um, wonderful study going through those books. Also, Bread and Wine, uh, this devotional um, is pretty cool. It's readings for Lent and Easter, it says, but really it's about... Um, uh, uh, communion, and uh, you hear from the likes of uh, C.S. Lewis, G.K. Chesterton, Philip Yancey, uh, Frederick Buckner, uh, Madeline Lengel, Henry Nouveau, Dorothy Day, and many others. It's just a wonderful, wonderful book donated by Charles Grace. Thank you, Charles. And um, then uh, a real a great study for me. Actually, the first study for me uh, in Communion Fire was uh, When the Church Was Young by Marcellino D'Ambrosio, Dr. Italy Online. Uh, it's, it is a fabulous book on opening up the contents of the early church to us in the first 400 years of the church. And um, Marcellino just does, uh, Dr. Uh, D'Ambrosio does just a beautiful job uh, and, and you almost feel like he's your tour guide and walking with you into the lives of these uh, uh, wonderful early church fathers and uh, just eye-opening. I read it once, but I studied it twice. So I've gone through and, and studied that, and I did the same thing with this uh, fabulous book by uh, Brant Petre, uh, Jesus and the Jewish Roots of the Eucharist, Unlocking the Secret of the Last Supper. And uh, his associate, uh, Scott Hahn, wrote The Lamb's Supper, how a, a Presbyterian guy, uh, pastor, came around uh, to understanding the Eucharist, understanding communion, understanding the importance and the value and the revelation power that communion gives us. Because when you have the body and the blood of Jesus, he's sharing his life with you, you know. Uh, Grace Abounding to the Chief of Sinners, a perennial classic written by the same guy who wrote uh, Pilgrim's Progress and his struggle to deal with a lot of the same issues. No doubt 
most young Christians struggle with. And um, it's just a very difficult read, but it's worth every page. And, uh, and we'll sh share more along those lines, but <clears throat> why don't we do this? Do you have your bread and your wine? Um, I do want to uh, say thank you for praying for my grandson, uh, Zeb, and for the uh, YWAM group in Norway. And uh, we pray again for you this morning, Zeb. God bless you, my friend. Um, man of God, that's right. And uh, we pray for YWAM in Ireland. Uh, we pray for uh, Brother Winky Prattney this morning again, um, who is in Texas. And uh, we pray for his continued recovery, Lord, that you would bless Winky and uh, uh, bring him back to full strength and full health quickly, we pray. We thank you and praise you for his ministry and ask you to continue to multiply that, that ministry in William and uh, all the other uh, family members, um, both uh, his own family as well as, uh, you know, uh, the Prattney family as well as... Um, the um, uh, family in, the, in, in Youth of the Mission and all others like myself who at one point or another had tremendous influence from Winky's ministry. God bless and thank you, Lord. And we do pray for our friends Austin in India this morning. Praise God. Um, Austin is up right there on the uh, outskirts of India where... Let's see if we can get that. Oh, there we go. Burma. Okay, he's right there in that little corner of India. We pray for you, Austin. Pray God's blessing upon you. Praise God. And uh, then we uh, uh, pray for Seema and, and family up there in uh, Delhi. Praise God. And we pray for Kevin, who's up by Nepal this morning. Praise God. God bless you, Kevin. Lord be with you, and, and, and for all these, Lord, we ask your divine protection, provision, prosperity, and we pray your peace would be a guard to their heart, mind, and body, and that their lives would be fruitful uh, to all that, that uh, they speak with, that they talk to, that they touch, and that they see. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, praise God. All right, shall we, let's do the Apostle Creed again this morning. Ready? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. Uh, he descended into hell and rose again on the third day. I believe in, uh, rose again on the third day, ascended to the Father, uh, and and uh, from there he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Praise God. All right, friends, if you have your uh, bit of bread, good morning, Mary. Uh, Lord, we ask you to bless this bread to be your body. We do this to remember you the body of Jesus, broken for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we ask you to bless this wine to be your blood. We do this to remember you, the blood of Jesus shed for you. Hallelujah. Praise God. All right, um, we invite you to share what the Lord shared with you this morning. Uh, share with uh, others what um, uh, the Lord revealed to you, what he shared with you in the bread, what he might, may have shown you, what he may have revealed to you. 
uh, in the wine what he may have said to you. For me, it was, um, I saw Jesus with a fishing pole, um, like a uh, uh, Norman Rockwell painting of a little boy on the pier with a fishing rod. And the Lord said, keep fishing, keep fishing. So the Lord wants us to be fishers of men. Amen. And uh, then in the wine, um, uh, in the wine, oh, he said Isaiah. Isaiah, we got Isaiah this morning. And I have this big old uh, 1800s Bible. Let's see here. Isaiah, Isaiah, Isaiah 43, let's see, there's 44, 43, 1 through 3, there we go, all right, I'm going to show you, okay, there's Isaiah 40, and Isaiah 44, let's see. All right, there we go, 43, 1 through 3. Uh, but thus says the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by name, thou art mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon you. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for thee. Hallelujah. Praise God. That's a, that's a good word. And uh, probably uh, Isaiah 43 is a good place to live today. You may, you may want to just check that out. And... Um, uh, anyway, I look forward to, you know, seeing what uh, you may have to share with us this morning. And if you're getting this uh, later in the day, uh, please enjoy communion. Uh, you, you know, like we say, got communion, praise God, got communion. Lord, we pray for each one today um, who comes to your table that you would open their eyes that they might recognize you in the communion. And we pray that uh, through the drinking of your blood, that, Lord, the ears would be open to hear your voice, and that as you direct and lead each heart and mind, uh, that you would also direct um, each person's feet uh, where you want them to go, that you would direct each person's hands, whom they should touch, whom they should pray for, whom they should reach out to, and whom they should put up their hand to. And, uh, Lord, we pray uh, for all the thoughts today, that the thoughts would be on those things that are lovely, true, just, honest, and of a good report. If there's any virtue, if there's any praise, let us think on those things. Praise God. God bless you, my friends. When I say put up my hand, I mean there, there's the spiritual forces where we put up that sort of the spirit of prayer, praying in the spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Taking authority over all the power of the enemy. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Praise God. The Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run in and are safe. Okay. Be safe today. God bless you. We love you. And uh, ciao, baby. <laughs>